Well, hey there. Knock, knock. Who is there? Remember knock, knock jokes? Am I, am I aging myself by asking if you remember knock, knock jokes? Sharon Horn from here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So no one's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. And today, it's Pajama Grandma in Curlers. And that is for a very specific reason. It has nothing to do with this particular video. Today, day 317 of the Daily Scare Share, where we're doing one thing a day that stretches our comfort zone from the book, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. I got this book back in 2014, and like so many of us and so many other things, I did it for a couple of days, and I wasn't really committed to it, and so when life got busy and life got in the way, I put it on a bookshelf, and I didn't look at it. I guess I looked at it a couple of times, like once in 2015, once in 2017, 12, I guess a couple days in 2017, but I never really committed to doing it. When well, 2018, I knew I needed to start doing video. I needed to find my voice so that I could get on video and talk to people and, and get my message out into the world because we all have a message that we want to share with the world. And I've been living in a bit of a rut. I've made some massive lifestyle changes in my life as I'd gone through some, a divorce and some other changes. And I knew that I was living in a rut, but I didn't know what to do about it. And my daughter found this book on a bookshelf in my house as I'm cleaning up and getting ready to move. I'm still saying that after <clears throat> a couple of years. Um, and said, Mom, this looks like a really interesting book, which meant... Mom, check this book out. Maybe this could help you get out of the rut that you're living in. So I committed to myself 316 days ago, 317 days today, that I would do something every single day to stretch my comfort zone. And I would use this great little journal book as my guide. And to hold myself accountable, I would hop on the, well, I guess I record on my phone, but I would hop on live video and I would share whatever the daily challenge was with other people. Primarily, to help me get better at doing and being more comfortable on film and to hold myself accountable so that I would actually do it. Because once I'd gotten about 10 days into it and said I was going to do it every day, I wasn't going to back out. Once I say I'm going to do something, I absolutely positively do it. So day 317, what has it got for us? It's got a sayings day. I love these sayings days. I know it's backwards, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to grab my handy dandy magnifying glass and read it to you anyway. Because that's what I do every day. So today it says, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. And that, of course, was said by Milton Berle. Now, I'm sure he said it in a comedic way, but it's oh so true. And I think we have a, a couple of beliefs about opportunity. We think that if we miss an opportunity, we've missed out forever. But we have to realize that there's infinite opportunities around us all the time. And if we miss an opportunity, it means for some reason that opportunity wasn't right for us at the time that it was it was shown to us or that we realized it. Amazingly enough, often we real we don't judge an opportunity as something we well, of course, that we've missed until after the fact. And that just means again that it wasn't right for us. And I love that he says if it doesn't knock, because everybody thinks opportunity is going to come up to our door and, and drop a million dollars on our front porch. Or if we sit on our couch and we wish for it often enough and long enough, <laughs> something will happen. But when we never get off the couch, all we do is watch TV. Guess what? Nothing's going to happen. Nobody is going to knock on your door and drop off a suitcase of a million dollars. It's not going to happen. Would we like it to happen? Sure. Now, if this has actually happened to someone, please go ahead and correct me and send me a comment or send me a direct message and let me know that that happened to you because I would love to share your story with the world. But for the most part, for the vast majority of us, we're going to have to go out and we're going to have to build a door. We're going to have to open a door. We're going to have to create a road or a pathway where none has ever existed before to get to where we want to go. And part of that is because where we want to go is different than everybody else. What I want to do with my life and where I want to go and what I want to accomplish and who I want to impact is totally different than who anybody I know wants to impact. Every other human being on the planet, we're all here for our own reason and for our own purpose and for an opportunity to experience our own life. There's your opportunity to experience your own life. And that means you need to create it. Build the door, build the road, build the path to from where you are now to where you want to go. And we can get people to help us. We can get people to guide us. We can get people to show us shortcuts of and strategies for getting to that end point. But bottom line, we're the one that has to do the work. We're the one that has to take the steps toward what it is that we want. So today, if opportunity 
isn't knocking on your door, what kind of a door could you build? Could you make a phone call to somebody? Could you write a letter or an email to somebody to help create and build that door for whatever it is that you want? Is there a book you need to read? Is there a person you need to talk to? Is there something you need to study or learn that is the next step to get you where you want to go? That's it. That is the daily scare share for today. It's not really very scary because I think it's something that deep down we all already know, but sometimes it's just spending the time shining the light on what we already know and asking ourselves, okay, I already know this, but am I applying it? I already know this, but am I taking the next step to move me toward what I want? I actually am doing that today because the next video I'm going to make is called my origin story. It's the story of why I do what I do. And I'm doing that today in curlers <laughs> because that's part of, of what I've had to overcome in order to be able to share my story. So that's it. Go out and have a fantastic day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow to share another comfort stone, comfort stone, comfort zone stretching activity. Have an awesome day. Bye. Don't be scared. You got this.